All right, guys. So one of the biggest question, or you know, most requested questions I got and issues from the big uh, video I did for the Ultimate Base roster was how to install the thing. And this is going to double for any mod. Um, so the first thing you're going to get if you download the Ultimate Base roster version 21 was just released. As you can see, it's a 7Z, 7-zip uh, archive. I still use uh, WinRAR. You can use. Um, oops. Okay, excuse me. 7-zip is the program. You can use 7-zip if you want to, but uh, I used to. I do use WinRAR. All I do is just right-click it, and I uh, extract to and it extracts it to the folder. If you look inside here, you know it's a personal note, all this stuff. So you, just ex you want to extract all of it because you're gonna need every single file that's in here, or else things aren't gonna work. So we load it up, and as we can see, you know it's got the README. And if you are confused about something, you, you really should read this because it tells you where to install things, where the where the main 2K folder is, and for Steam users where to find it, and also where to find your saves folder. Um, and you know, and he adds a personal note. I mean, he does a lot of great things in these things, so it's good. It's worth looking for. So the main NBA 2K12 folder. We need to get all of these files into that folder. Now, for me, since I have the disc version, um, I'll show you how to get that first. You go to computer, C drive, go to program files x86, and then uh, 2K Sports, and then NBA 2K12, and this is where all the if files for the game go. If you have the Steam version of the game, again, you go to Program Files. If you have 32-bit Windows, you just go to regular 30 um, window Program Files. You don't need the uh, x86. And you go down to Steam. Then you go to Steam Apps. Um, uh, common, I believe. And then, um, you know, I got my NBA 2K9 here. But it's the same thing. You just go to the NBA 2K12 folder and you put all of them in there. So let's do that real quick. Go up to 2K Sports, NBA 2K12. I'm going to select all of these, move them right over here. Two gigs, almost three. We're getting up there. And I want to overwrite everything that's here. Now, the only thing that he overwrites that I don't agree with is the title page, um, which means, you know, he changes the splash that usually has Jordan on it when you load up the game to uh, something that promotes uh, NBA 2K doc, or Ultimate 2K.com, which is fine. Um, so if you don't want that, you know, keep a backup of title page dot if. I mean, this is his one right here, and here is my original one. And I can just move it up here, change it to title page, whoops. I actually go into it, title page, put it back down here, move and replace. And now we're all set. Now it's back to the Michael Jordan one if that's what you want. Or if you have a custom one, you want to make sure you keep that. Now the part that people are having, and that would take care of issues with people who are saying that you have white arms for the players or the faces aren't showing up. That's the other thing. And also, uh, if you get black courts or whatever, make sure you play the game on medium or high settings. This mod wasn't made for people who play on low settings. I'm sorry. You are the minority of, you know, the people who play 2K12 on the PC. Get a better rig. I'm sorry. <laughs> So the other folder is the saves folder. Now this one's a little bit trickier. If you, the first time you have to go there, you can go to run or the, the search program files right here. Just go to search, type in percentage sign, app, da data, and then percentage sign, press enter, and it'll take you right here to app data roaming. Then you go to 2K Sports, NBA 2K12, saves, and both of these files go in here. Now I already have, this is my settings file that he's using, you know, a part of the bundle, that's fine. But you're going to want this too, or else all the teams aren't going to show up. Now, if you have Windows XP, um, and you can't find the uh, app data folder, you can't find that folder, Windows key and R will bring up run. And then again, you just type in app data with the percentage sides around it, press OK, take you right back to the same spot. And then it's uh, 2K Sports, NBA 2K12, saves. Now you're going to want to make sure that you uh, run the game first, so you let the game create that folder. Because I know some of you guys are, are uh, buying the game from Amazon sale right now, 
and then uh, installing this mod before the thing installs and you know gets that directory set up, let the game set that up first. So that's essentially all there is to it. Um, if you need more help, I'd be I'm more than willing to help you. Uh, just know I'm getting a lot of requests for it, so if I don't get to you right away, I'm sorry. If I lose you, I'm sorry. Um, if you go to the 2K or the two, excuse me, the NLSC forums, and you go to the NBA 2K12 section, right here we have a general FAQ, frequently asked questions, to take care of stuff like this. And you know these are some of the known bugs and all that fun, but it tells you right here where to find your 2K12 folder and it tells you right here how to find your saves folder and it also tells you how to take care of the zip and rar files and the 7z files the same thing how to use the if files I mean this is good stuff if you're brand new to the series on PC and you don't know what you're doing that's all I got for you I really hope uh, this helps and if not you can find me on the YouTube comments you can find me on the NLSC forums I'm more than willing to help take care